back in Juneau, I took a tour of Taku. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for doing this, by sure. the way. I really appreciate this. I want to know, what are we doing here? This is yeah. where you, people can come and buy the product, right? Yeah, you know, a lot of people, they walk right in front, getting off the cruise ships, right in front of our dock, where we're off Lone Helmet or Crab or Black Hot, and they'll, you know, get real interested in right. where it came from, what, you know, what do we do with it? Right. So we can escort it right back here and back to the store. Can we go store. where this, where this is processed? Sure. Do you mind? Yeah. No. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. Okay, cool. I, I love stuff like this. We'll have to get uh, hair nets on as we go through. Sure. So this is where the fish start, right? Like they come here. But well, yeah. who brings them, by the way? These are, are these local fish? Are these your guys? Who are these fishermen? 90% of our fishermen are all local in the Juno Haynes area. Yeah. And uh, we buy mostly from our gillnet fleet and uh, trollers. Trollers are strictly just hook and line. And that's yeah. kind of the premium product. The gillnetters do a great job. They're a little bit higher volume. Got it. And uh, we require them to bleed their fish, which is kind of new in the last probably 10 years. I think they see the return on their investment by you know, better fish quality and higher prices because of the because of the quality. Got they got a lot less waste, a longer shelf life. What happens at this stage? Okay, well all the fish, once it comes off the boat, is held out in chilled tanks. And then they're just gravity fed into here. The tanks are higher up, so they're gravity fed with water, sluiced into the box where it's elevated onto a table. Got it. And then from the table, uh, you just put each one fish on each peg. It comes through, the head gets cut off. No way. And then the head drops out. We save the heads, and we, we try to utilize as much of the fish as possible. So we save the heads and the entrails, and we mix that together at a ratio for uh, pet food consumption. Pet food, got it. Um, after the head comes off, then of course the neck is all exposed. And there's really two parts in the in the head where the, where, uh, the, the entrails are connected. So you see this little blade down there goes inside and cuts that. Oh, wow. So then when it drops here, we have a guy with a knife and a guy that pulls guts out and the eggs. How many of these are they doing like in a minute? They do about 50 a minute. What? Yeah. They're doing one every 1.2 seconds? Yeah, about that, yeah. Oh, my God. That's crazy. What kind of fish? Uh, right. We do all five species of salmon here. Okay. Uh, the largest which, which ones, are? Uh, we do kings, which are Chinook, uh, Kita, uh, Sockeye, which also known as red, and then pinks and coho, and or coho. silver salmon. Okay, got it. Yeah. And we also do here. halibut. We do a lot of halibut, black cod. Right. So after the fish is all clean, through here we have vacuum tubes to suck up any residual thing. It gets rinsed and then inspected again and then graded. So this is the grading area. Grading. We look at every fish inside and out. You know, some fish have a cut in them or a bruise in them, so they'll go to a different thing. And you know, each fish is valuable. It just depends on what you're going to use it for. Then where do they go? And we put them in the, the fish on the racks to go into the freezer, or we run them into fresh pack, uh, which is shipping for airlines or shipping to a restaurant locally or to a cruise ship. Uh, but most of it, right, 90% of it gets frozen, put into a box, and into a shipping container from there. A lot of it goes down into holding areas in the uh, lower 48, in Washington State mostly. Uh, some of it goes overseas, Belgium, uh, into a holding area where it's then distributed to the different customers at that point. Are there fish hanging out, frozen right now? Oh yeah. Can we see them? Sure. We'll go look in here. Oh my gosh, come on. You just walk by, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. This doesn't happen at the television show offices. We don't have this. Yeah. What is this? What am I looking at? These are chump salmon. These were brought in. Uh, What'd you call me? No, come on, stop these that. These are uh, called chump salmon or keto salmon. Okay. A lot of this gets turned into like uh, seasoned flakes that you shake on rice. Got it. Got it. So it's not a very high, I wouldn't say high value. No. It's not. No. But it gets used. It gets caught and it gets And it gets used. used. And the row out of this is premium row. It's, uh, oh, really? The uglier the fish, the better the row. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, this is something that you would see, I would recognize in the store, right? Yeah, these are sockeye or red salmon. These were caught in the Senesham Fishing District, which is about an hour down from here. These were delivered this morning. This will probably go to a smokehouse. Why? How do you, why do you think that? Uh, because it's smaller. It's not really, uh, when you cut it into portions, you end up with a lot of waste uh, because the portions would be too small. Too small for, yeah. got it. You have a cool job. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we cover them all in ice before we put them in the freezer. That way it doesn't take so long to freeze. Right. So we can have them down to minus 10 in about four hours. Next time you see it again is somewhere right. for consumption to eat. Can I touch them? Sure. 
have. What do I do? Can I pick him up by the tail? No, I grab him by the head. What is, where? Like? Yep, right there. Oh, like this? Yep. Oh, come on. Like it's a little. It's kind of gross. Yeah. It's a little gross. But it's kind of cool. Yeah. Wow. I can show you where we're freezing at. Gift shop, we produce all that over here. Got it. How many, how many employees do you know? We got about 60. 60? Yeah. Can I ask you, what are you working on? This is sockeye. Okay. All right, so these were swimming yesterday. Wow. Brought them in, dressed them head and gut, then we filleted them, and so now we're cutting them into strips. We're going to put them in a little bit of a brine solution for 40, 45 minutes, pull them out, and we're going to smoke them for a couple of hours. Okay. And then they'll be cut into strips and put into, into chunks and put jars. Got it. And we can it. Pressure cooker. You pressured. Oh, okay. So basically, the scales and the bones are going to just sort of dis disintegrate. They'll just go in into the. Okay. And now you get these lovely little pieces of wild caught Alaskan sockeye that's smoked, and we ship those all over the world. How do you? How, how are they meant to be eaten? Chilled? Straight out of the jar. Straight out of the jar. Room temperature room or what? Room temperature, yeah. Really? I like a little saltine cracker and a slice of jalapeno. But I'm a spicy kind of guy. So. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that about you before we got here. Oh, okay, yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah. So we, you know, didn't yeah, you did not yeah. disappoint. That's all this wild caught Alaskan seafood is, that we produce here is just—it's the best in the world. I think we better go try some. Yeah. Before we leave, Thank, thank you. you for this. Oh, you're very welcome. That's cool. So this is pick, pick your favorite one. Well, I'm going to pick favorite? a smoked white king. Okay, why? Um, I've always felt that they have a little bit more oil content. Okay, well, sure, uh, love and Maybe it's psychological, but I still like them better. King salmon and coho both will come in white and red, mm -hmm. and it's just a genetic difference with them where they don't absorb the pigment. Okay. Well, you know what? When in Alaska, let's just do it. Okay. Come on. So we're going smoke white king salmon. Yeah. Right out of the jar. Yep. Oh my gosh, look at this. When you're right, I can see the sheen off that oil right off the top. Yeah. That looks incredible. Oh my gosh. Well, cheers, man. Thanks for this. Dude, that's fantastic. Yeah, good you can take that home with you if you want. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> that's not going to make it. It tastes so good. Oh my God. That's okay. We'll make more. <laughs> that's the only thing we're going to do back there is make more of that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. I really do appreciate sure. that. You were right about that. Mm. 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 Yeah. I almost fell down the steps there, buddy.